Hey, how's it going? It's Eric. Uh, welcome back to the <laughs> channel. Sorry, it has been forever. I am really sorry. It's been like eight months since I put out a video. Um, and the reason why, yeah, yeah, I've been busy, but like, you know, the real reason why is like, cause I could not think of something cool to put out there. Um, I, was just, I just kept on thinking, I was like, man, what video am I gonna do? What video am I gonna do? I didn't wanna do like a BMT packing list video. I didn't wanna do like, you know, BMT week by week or, you know, those kind of things. Um, those kind of videos aren't really for me. Um, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's been done a lot. There's so much, you know, the information is all out there for people. Um, I just kind of wanted to make a video that, you know, for um, an older person who's interested in joining the military, um, maybe they can benefit from. And, you know, of course, like, well, you know, any age can benefit from, but not just, you know, I just don't want to like throw content out there just to throw something out there. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to talk about, you know, uh, going to tech school as an older person, kind of my experience. Um, hopefully I won't sound like I'm rambling too much. Another reason why it's taken me so long to make a video is because, you know, there's a video out there um, that features my family um, while I was at BMT and, you know, uh, USA Today put out there um, and all the, you know, for the most part is like 100% positive. Well, not 100%, I guess it'd be like 90% positive, but then I got like one comment just like trashing me on that video, like really bad. Like I, you, you would think like I killed this guy's dog. Like he just hated me, <laughs> hated the way it looked, thought my flight cap wasn't situated correctly on my head and blah, blah, blah. He just went to town on me and then like, I was, you know, actually really pissed. Um, when I read that comment and I was pissed off for like two months and I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm not making more videos. And, um, I just let this one guy get into my head. And then, so, um, so yeah, so that took some time off the, the video thing. And then, you know, it just got, you know, life came along and then up some big things changed. I'll, I'll talk about that later, but anyway, so I do apologize. It's been so long. I really do appreciate um all the comments i get in instagram and the emails it's it's cool to see you know you know older guys and girls feeling like hey you know i can join the military too if this dude you know this 39 now 40 year old dude can do it you know this awkward fidgety guy <laughs> um rambling dude can join the military i can i can do it too um so that's really cool it's cool to like you know see people like you know really see that you know it's possible and you know you know join the military as an older person uh, for the as a, just a number part of the age um, I don't think is an issue at all um, I think it's definitely harder for an older person to join the military because you probably have you know more responsibilities you're probably married uh, have kids or you know you have your career so it's hard to just drop all that stuff to disappear for you know six to nine months um, so, you know, I get it, um, but um, as an age, as a number itself, like, oh, I'm 39, I'm too old, uh, not at all. Um, the only thing that, you know, I'll say quickly is that what's going to make it difficult for you, um, aside from, you know, your, your home responsibilities and, like, and things like that, is that um, if you have an ego where you feel like, you know, you can't take direction from people that are old younger than you or you feel like you know you can't spend lar large quantities of time with the, someone a group of people that are younger than you you're gonna have a difficult time but anyways like in this video <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into it actually uh um so i'm gonna do this video tech school and then i'm tomorrow i'm gonna do a video on the new age limit for officers in the air national guard and the reserve uh, I'm just going to confirm with my recruiter buddy just to make sure like what I'm telling you is legit. I need to just get some facts together, but I'm going to put that video out probably tomorrow. Um, I think it's going to be, it's really good news um, for us older guys and girls um, who are interested in being an officer in the Air Force. Um, so I'm going to put that out and I'm probably going to do like, you know, balance how I balance my life in the military and as a civilian. Um, like 
probably like one of those week in the life videos, but a legit one, not like, you know, a fake one. <laughs> All right, so tech school. So I definitely thought that tech school was harder than BMT. With BMT, um, you know, it's very structured and your whole day is scheduled out for you. Um, so I felt that looking back, time went by really fast. Um, while I was there, it seemed like it went by slow. But um, just, yeah, looking back, BMT went by really fast. Um, from the age standpoint, hold on a sec. All right, sorry about that. So from the age uh, perspective, um, age really doesn't matter in BMT. Um, everyone, you know, has to do the same thing. Everyone looks the same. So you don't really get to get those personalities clashing that much um, in BMT. Everyone's pretty much, you know, you're not even an individual. So your age really doesn't matter. I mean, and plus, you know, I wasn't the oldest guy again, you know, had a 40 year old. Um, then there's me and then there's some, I think three more 30 something year olds, um, scattered in the flight. So, um, I really didn't feel my age at all, uh, at BMT. Now tech school is a different story because now when I went to tech school, we went, you know, I went, I went to Pensacola. Um, I was definitely the oldest person there. And I mean, I was older than all everyone in the squadron I was older than the MTLs I was older than the flight commander most of the teachers most of the instructors and then the only person for sure I wasn't older than was like maybe well the only people I was for sure weren't older than was like a couple teachers and the first sergeant because I think the first sergeant was probably like 60 years old I think he was ready to retire but um, so right off the bat you know I was the oldest person, so that was kind of wild. So what, so what made um, tech school difficult was that it was hard for me to relate to my friends that were, you know, a lot younger. Um, so in that sense, I felt like I spent a lot of time by myself outside of you know the working and working and studying environment. Um, just like on the free time, like the hanging out, things like that. I spent a lot of time by myself. I made a lot of cool friends for sure. Um, and I, you know, in the video, I'll just put, I'll put their pictures and things like that up. Um, met, you know, a lot of great friends in the, the Navy, like my buddy, Eric, I uh, made a ton of Marine buddies, um, it's, you know, but, um, off base, you know, and all the parties and hanging out and stuff like that, like beach parties and bar hopping, I was really stuck to myself um just because i you know i don't want to be like the old dude well one reason i want to be the old dude you know trying to hang out with a bunch of like you know 20 year olds not that you know i didn't get invited or felt like i was in, you know included because of my age it's just you know um their ideas were fun were a lot different from mine where you know they're having the beach parties and bar hopping and stuff like that where i would um go to this wine bar <laughs> in downtown pensacola and sit there with a glass of wine every day or every evening and just like people watch. Where I'd go to the cigar lounge and maybe smoke a cigar um, and just chill. Um, so that part was, you know, a little bit difficult for me. I felt like time went by a lot slower for me because, you know, I had my phone. I was able to talk to my my wife and my family all the time, and I wasn't able to leave. But, you know, also I was just kind of kicking it by myself. Um, so that part made maybe tech school a little bit harder. That's how you're. My experience was different from a lot of people's um, just because of my age. Um, you know, and plus, you know, I didn't want to, you know, get into any kind of trouble with the <laughs> with my, my younger friends would always, you know, something always wild would pop up, like, you know, from somebody in, in the squadron or one of my Marine buddies would get into some kind of trouble um, out on um, when I left base. So, I just, you know, I just don't want to be involved in any of that. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, I think that's what that was it. That was what made tech school difficult. It was yeah, time went by slow. I spent a lot of time by myself, um, just because it was harder for me to relate to my friends, my younger friends. But that was about it. One cool part was that I didn't have a roommate the whole time I was there. I mean, every I think a couple times I would have one for a day, and then you know they move, they get moved in, and later on day they get moved out, and then I was by myself. So for three yeah three months no roommate. Um, I, I got super lucky. I didn't know how that happened. So that was cool. I mean, I was a class leader, but um, the reason why they made me a class leader because I was the oldest uh, E3, so that put me as the highest ranking, which didn't mean anything. It, it all just meant was like, then everyone made accountability and no one showed up hammered to their room or whatever, which that was difficult, but um, it was also fun too. I got to really get to know like my, my classmates, but other than that, that was the only, you know, really negative, you know, the real negative parts were like, yeah, I wasn't able to really relate to my friends at tech school. Um, I stuck to myself a lot. My cat died while I was in tech school. That freaking sucked. Um, my wife had to deal with that. And yeah, you just couldn't, you know, go home when you wanted to. So, I mean, by that point, like I was, yeah, you're at BMT. So I was pretty much gone, like almost six months um, from home um, so that, you know, was hard but hey i'm here now another cool part is you know i just got to meet like a lot of cool people like from all over the country on different branches you know uh of course you know all my my uh, air force friends uh, i've got friends in the navy now my buddy eric uh, friends in the marine corps and i and i hung out those marines like every day in the smoke pit um, really cool, really cool, uh, getting to like, see like how the different branches operate and like the different cultures and stuff. There's definitely a huge difference between how each branch works. Um, but yeah, totally cool, cool learning experience. I got to see the blue angels practice twice a week up close and personal. Like, you know, <laughs> saw a lot of like, you know, jets flying over. That was cool. Okay. You said the meeting is It's pretty cool. Yeah, it sucks that you're away from home for a long period of time, but you know, you just have to make the best of your time out there. Um, I just try to be a tourist and you know, just take in as much as possible and make as many friends as possible. But at the same time, it was definitely harder to relate to uh, all my friends. Um, only advice I can really give to you um, if you're heading to pet, uh, if you're heading to tech school as an older person and you have your family back at home. Just, you know, um, make the best of your time. Try to be um, as productive as possible. Um, stay away from all the drinking parties because someone's always going to get in trouble. Be a you know good mentor to your friends and meet as many people as possible and then come back home. Anyway, so I guess that's really it um, about tech school. Uh, hopefully I was able to put in some cool videos and uh, pictures to help explain, you know, my tech school experience. But, I, you know, obviously, like, it's one of those once-in-a-lifetime uh, experiences that a lot of people don't get to experience. So um, if you're going to BMT and you have a long tech school, just, you know, it's something definitely to look forward to. It's going to be a cool experience. Thanks again for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, I promise it won't take me a long time to... Um, put up uh, another video again uh, shoot me a message on Instagram or uh, send me an email I'll put all that stuff down uh, below um, if you have any questions or concerns about joining the military at an older age uh, we can talk about it and then I think I may start a Facebook page for older people who want to join the military because I know actually a lot of people um, that do watch this channel have you know shipped to BMT or to, uh, to Navy boot camp and then went off to tech school and A school. So um, hopefully you guys that have done done so, you know, can help mentor um, people who are also interested in joining the military. Okay, so I'm sitting here editing the video and I just realized that I didn't say goodbye. So I will see you guys later.
I'm gonna throw in some videos um, and pictures from tech school. See you guys around. Mason, Dylan, and Dawn. Nice.